Happy Meat Farm's HR orientation video by this place is not happy, as another leaked footage exposing the unethical organization of Happy Meat Farms, an organization that experiments on humans and animals, covering up their sinister acts by sponsoring content creators and having a nice backstory. Hi folks, I'm R and welcome to the video. This video is part of a much larger ARG story created by Alex Bale, which I will make a subsequent video about soon enough. I made a video going over the first two videos on this place is not happy YouTube channel, which entails the in-depth premise of Happy Meat Farms. Make sure to watch that video first to catch up with the story, as I won't go over the same information. You can watch that video by heading on the card above. Ramona Bynes, the founder of Happy Meat Farms, introduces herself and her company, where animals are treated right and humanely. Even mentioned on a previous commercial video that they value the animals over profit, which doesn't make much sense since they are in a business exploiting animals for profit. We believe that the best meat comes from the happiest animals, even if that means giving up profits. As Ramona tries to continue her monologue, as directed and written by her muse, her source of inspiration, the source which provides Ramona with the right words to convince her customers into buying her products, the clip glitches, with the footage changing into an HR orientation video, welcoming the new recruits. A warning notice is then shown, displaying how it is strictly intended for authorized HR personnel only, and shouldn't by any means be leaked to online public platforms such as YouTube. Someone, however, by the username of this place is not happy, has managed to leak the video, trying to expose Happy Meat Farm's organization for what they truly are. The video, without much secrecy, goes straight to the point, instructing the newcomers that they have only one job, and that is to feed the mother. They are essentially transporting the food to the mother, labeled as assets, the test subjects of the two previous videos, who were labeled as satisfactory to be sent to HR. The acid is seen being caged in a horrible and uncomfortable manner, being mentioned to have been heavily sedated not to harm the new employees. This acid has a human face, clearly a human test subject who was forcefully experimented on, disregarding it as voluntary work or insubordination. There are three rules that the transporters need to follow, not to touch anything, not to look at anything, and a strange rule to have fun. The HR facilities, as mentioned in the previous videos, is heavily guarded and even larger than the Happy Meat Farms factory, unveiled to why it is so in this training video. The HR department is a cesspool of unethical and illegal activities, with it being heavily under surveillance and medical equipment being present, which shouldn't have any business being there. The building sharing close resemblance to a well-equipped hospital displays how many were experimented on here or put under observation, while it is seemingly abandoned now. The interior is in a bad state of disrepair, as if wild entities or beings destroyed the place, making it unsafe for any member being here. A room is then indicated to be the whole room, simply having a lot of holes, with another being labeled as the hair room, correspondingly having a lot of long hairs hanging from the ceiling at different spots. Another room is labeled as the flesh room, with segments of the wall having fallen down, with actual flesh being exposed as if the room is made of flesh, just having some drywall covering them up. Another room is called the rat room, where many rat traps are placed haphazardly in different spots, even on the walls and ceiling, with a text mentioning that there's a rat somewhere, clearly depicting how it's all created for one specific rat that they have lost sight of, possibly a rat that could pose danger to the staff, a rat that they inhumanely experimented on. Finally, their room with the yellow balloon is strictly prohibited, preventing anyone from going there, seemingly the result of a test subject that dwells within this room, 
quite possibly a child they experimented on, evident from the smiley balloon. Going deeper into the strange and scary place, the destruction becomes more visible, with a human crouching and being seemingly detained in a room, maybe being the next meal of the mother or a subordinate member of the staff that the organization intends to experiment on. Whatever it is, the person is horrified to the fate that is awaiting him. Deeper in the building, there's a butterfly room showing the extent of experiments carried out in this place. Then a room labeled as the drawing room, which has images of Sunk the Blue Rat, an actual YouTube channel superficially intended for kids, but in reality being part of a much larger scheme, forcing content creators and creative minds into creating pre-planned programs crafted by each creator's specific muse. Then a room called the horse room with a partially dissected horse inside being said that it's fine, clearly defying any laws of biology and nature, with its lower part being through the wall. Another room is labeled as the pink room, seemingly intended to contain children, awaiting their doomed fate, sadly. Another pitch black room contains a large number of cows, labeled as the cow room, with the staff even encouraging the transporters to take a snack if they wish to, which contradicts Happy Meat Farm's slogan and motto of treating animals with kindness. The cows in this room emit light or reflect lights through their eyes like cats and dogs do in the dark, creating a creepy scene, seemingly being experimented on, being a meal for the mother. Going yet deeper with a guideboard instruction Instructing visitors that the mother is further down, there's a birthday room where birthdays are seemingly celebrated in, possibly a room to keep morals up in this dark and twisted building. Deeper into this death trap, it's clarified to what caused the damage, a test subject which managed to escape the confines of the brutal and ruthless death. A cow shown in the previous leaked footage. The organization being shady and breaking every human and animal right doesn't stop there, with loose dogs being badly deformed and neglected there, with a cryptic message appearing, I never wanted for any of this to happen, possibly being written by a member of staff involved in the animal and human experiments, whose conscience was overwhelmed by guilt, or maybe it's even the mother whose DNA samples caused all of this dilemma. It's not me. Several test tubes labeled as mother are then instructed to be sent to the R&D department, which stands for research and development, where the majority of experiments and trials take place in. Through a restricted portal in the Happy Meat Farms, only accessible by authorized personnel, it is indicated that the experiments are carried out by using DNA samples provided by the mother, hence why the test subjects show remarkable growth, allowing the mother to feed on them and keep sustained. Eventually, the IT department is a heavily protected and surveyed place, where a robotic or cyborg person works in, called Jared, whom the staff avoid and don't talk to. A suitable job for such monstrous entity, devoid of any humanity and kindness, deceiving the public into funding them. Deeper in the building, some entities are blurred, seemingly being highly classified, with the last image being a bunch of suited people, as if they are the higher-ups in the organization so that their identities don't get leaked. Finally, reaching the mother's room, the asset or the test subject is placed in the darkness, which gets taken by a black tentacled monster and seemingly gets consumed. Ramona Bynes then reappears, with the orientation video coming to an end, which again glitches out with an entity saying that it's not them. Thanks to many comments on a video uploaded by Inside a Mind, I realized that this video is part of a much larger story that revolves around few creators and channels, which I intend to make a much more in-depth video about following this one, but for now, we'll just analyze this video. As discussed in my previous video, that Happy Meat Farms is an evil organization that conducts human and animal experiments with a superficial image of being humane and treating animals with kindness. 
They apply a mysterious DNA sample to their test subject, causing them to grow substantially and have satisfactory to be sent to HR, and as seen here, ultimately get devoured by the entity known as the Mother. However, this entity seems to be not what it seems to be, with two of the videos at the end glitching with the entity seemingly saying that don't feed them and that it's not me. Don't feed them. That's not me. The asset being a blob is indeed a human, as seen through the previous leaked videos by This Place Is Not Happy, whether being an insubordinate employee, a reporter, a journalist, or simply a person forced into it. As seen on their website, Happy Meat Farms was under investigation for committing crimes against animals and humanity, but the journalists who wrote about them soon retracted their stories and paid large sums of money, depicting how powerful this organization truly is. This is why they can easily make journalists disappear without any repercussion. The organization is very covert, hiding their shady practices, guarding their HR department heavily, and instructing the transporters not to look at anything or touch anything they're not intended to. Inside of the HR department, it is filled with sinister and twisted evidence of illegal activities, even experimenting on children and dogs who became badly deformed. There are also test tubes, which are clearly mother's DNA samples, which were indicated on the website secured portal that are needed for experiments to make the test subjects grow in size. The ultimate goal of the organization seems to be feeding mother, covering this horrid image with a humane and ethical farming company. They sponsor the content creators, assigning a muse to them, which both literally and figuratively act as their source of inspiration forcing them into making content that gains the most views. Unhappy Meat Farm's employee-only access portal, they mention how they have been accused of poisoning competing animal farms, and also about the fake leaked videos on YouTube, which are the ones available on This Place Is Not Happy YouTube channel. These are clearly true accusations of what Happy Meat Farms has committed. Accessing the R&D portal, the dirty secrets of the organization is revealed by unveiling the reason behind two of their projects. Project Chimera, which is the current project of experimenting on humans and animals with mothers provided DNA samples. There was also an older project called Project Vulnerability, which was the cause behind a lot of disease outbreaks worldwide. The meat they shelved in many supermarkets caused variety of diseases in order to cause vulnerability in populace to create the new world order and easily control the population. Therefore, the purpose of Happy Meat Farm is much more sinister than just feeding the mother. And mother doesn't seem to be the orchestrator of this horrid organization. If anything, the mother seems to be trapped like any other test subject, with her DNA being forcefully extracted so they can use it in their experiments and spreading diseases. That's not me. Don't feed them. The mother clearly seems to inform whoever watches the videos not to feed people with the infected meat and that she is not involved in this. But of course, much more will be revealed in their later videos to whether mother is part of a hive mind organism with muses being assigned to each creator under Happy Meat Farm's command, or whether mother is just a detained organism they use against her will. I'm working on a subsequent video diving deeper in the ARG story of Alex Bale and all the other connected YouTube channels. Make sure to stay tuned not to miss out on that. It's been your host, Star, and as always, I will see you on the next one.